What is a nitrosamine and how is it formed? Nitrosamines belongs to a class of mutagens, which are compounds that are able to make mutations in the DNA, and sometimes these mutations can result in cancer. According to ICHM7, nitrosamines are classified as a special class of risk, the called cohort of concern. The nitrosamines are classified in this cohort because nitrosamines present extremely high carcinogenic potency. But what exactly is a nitrosamine? That's the basic structure of this class. A nitrosamine is characterized by a N-nitrose bond. Also, the structure presents some substituents that we call radicals, and they may be alkyl, aryl, or acyl. But how is it formed? To explain that, I will present you a very important tool for organic chemistry, the heterosynthesis. To make more visual, I will use as example the N nitroso dimethylamine, also known as NDMA, which presents acceptable intake of 96 nanograms day. But how heterosynthesis can actually help us to understand how nitrosamines are formed? Well, basically, you have the compound and in the heterosynthesis, you just break the main bond. In this case, you break the N nitroso bond. Then you will generate two fragments. One, it's an anion of secondary amine. And the other one is a nitrous onion. Now we know which structures or which intermediates could form any DMA. Now we have the fragments that could generate any DMA. But where these fragments could come from? That's what we have to think. So the anion of a secondary amine could come from a secondary amine. And the nitrous onion could come from a nitrosating agent, for instance, sodium nitrite. Now we can have an idea where the NDMA comes from. It came from an amine and a nitrosate agent. But it's not the combination of these two components. We must ensure that this reaction it's happening in the right conditions to favor the formation of any DMA. So basically, we need three elements to form a nitrosamine, amine, nitrosate agent, and the right condition. When you apply the heterosynthesis strategy, you are able to understand how is it formed and what you have to look for in your manufacturing process to evaluate the risk. Now, using this knowledge, I will show you how it actually works in a reaction. We were keeping using the NDMA as an example. For that, we are going to select the dimethylamine. If the dimethylamine are present with a nitrous onion, that is the attack of the pair of electrons from the nitrogen of the dimethylamine to the nitrous onion, resulting in an intermediate that, after abstraction of a proton, generates the NDMA. However, to generate the nitrous onion, you must have a nitrosate agent. In this case, we are considering sodium nitrite. Then, in acid conditions, it is able to generate nitrous onion and this reaction may proceed until it generates NDMA. But, is there any other way to form a nitrosamine? Actually, there are many other ways to form nitrosamines. Besides the, the use of nitrogate agents, nitrosamines are also uh, formed by oxidative process, metallamide nitrosation, partial reduction of nitromine, and also amidoyl halide nitrate, and also many other examples in the literature. That is just a a simple overview of the possibilities. Then, considering all the chemistry behind nitrosamines, all the possibilities to perform the risk assessment of nitrosamines, 
that is really important to understand in deep organic chemistry because you have a lot of details that you have to be aware to perform a robust risk assessment of nitrosamines.